Winsome Ones, my name is Heather and for the first video in 2024 I'm going to show you another of seven of my favourite outfits that I wore in 2023. So I really love this outfit because even though it's clearly something that is professional and for work but it's also really feminine as well, not just because of the colour but because of the little details. So let's start with the feet. So I've got my shoes, my Mary Janes with a cross strap. They are just such a versatile pair of shoes. I wear them to death. Then of course, this skirt, which is designed by Michael Kors, just so much attention to detail. I love the contrast with the metal accessories with the pale pink and then a flat panel and then pleated skirt. You can't go wrong with a white shirt. And then of course, the final piece is a trench coat and it goes below the length of the skirt, which I think is an important feature when you want to make it part of your outfit. And even better, it's got a floral lining. Yay! <laughs> and to top it all off, a top handle trapezoid shape bag. I really like this outfit because even though it is something that can be dressed up, similarly, it can also be casualized and dressed down. I just love the simplicity of it. So, fantastic dramatic sleeves in this t-shirt. Just love the puff. And then these pants or trousers are a combination of viscose and linen. So they have the weight of linen but they don't crease as much because of the high viscose factor. And they are fully lined as well. And I just love the pinstripe. I'm not a big pinstripe person, but these ones just really caught my eye. They sort of give a little bit of that quiet luxury, old money kind of look. And then I've paired them with these River Island mules and they are white with a black trim. So I think that they just match really well. Another fantastic red and pink combination. I really like this outfit because it's got all the elements of being classic, elegant and fun. It has a little bit of a Chanel vibe, but because it's got the red and pink, it's just modernized it a little bit and given it a little bit of a twist. I really do like this dress. I feel comfortable and happy when I'm wearing it. It's beautiful construction, magnificent fabric, and I really like the unusual neckline. It just gives a little bit of a feature, and even the colour is just a little bit unusual. It's called hibiscus, which is really a combination of pink and orange. It sort of sits between those two colours. It does have a definite A-line shape, and then it goes to the knee. So really, the only feature of skin that you're showing is up here and what I like about it is that the skin that you're showing is at the back, not at the front. <laughs> and then of course, my gorgeous sparkly Mary Janes. These just make me so happy. They remind me of like sparkling champagne or something. It's always a good celebration dress. If you are enjoying the video so far, please like and subscribe and click on all notifications. So then you'll be able to watch every video that I release. Now I'm always on the lookout for the perfect jumper dress. I don't know if this is perfect, but when I saw it, I just thought it ticked so many of the boxes. What I really like about it is the fact that it's a fit and flare design. A little bit above the knee, and I love the colour combination as well. I call it cocoa pink because they all sort of blend into each other. And then I've got my matching nude pumps. And these are my succession plan for the previous Mary Janes that I showed you. For when those ones have to go in the bin, these are the ones that I have lined up to take their place. So with this knit dress here, it's sleeveless, so I can actually wear it in summer and it is actually quite lightweight. 
And because it is knitted, it does allow a little bit of airflow through it, which does actually help. This is the back. And so I turned it around and I just find that that just gives a little bit more of an interesting look. And then rather than showing this part of skin at the front, I'm showing it at the back. So I'll just turn around now and show you. So doing that, it just creates this continuous line all the way up to my neck which I just find is a lot more flattering rather than having bits of skin showing. And then by actually having the skin at the back rather than at the front, it's a little bit unexpected. And I think particularly because of the style of haircut that I have, it just seems to work. But I really like this outfit. I only wore it a few times in 2023 and I'm not done with it yet. I'm really looking forward to wearing it a bit more this year. So this is one of two waistcoats that I had. And when I first saw the waistcoats coming in, I thought, oh, that really works. I really like it. It kind of acts like a little bit of a corset. I do understand that the trend is to wear them a bit more loose, but I always prefer my clothes to be more tailored and fitted. So I did actually size down in this one, but I really like the sculpture of it. And then I thought if I pair it with these wide leg pants or trousers in the hibiscus colour, that it would just work really well. So similarly, I didn't wear this outfit very much last year and I'm certainly looking forward to getting more wear out of it this year. So I've called this outfit Healthy on Days and it's basically because it has that fun element to it. I really love the structure of the shirt dress and it's a gorgeous pink denim. It's a really nice cotton buttoned down and then I just gathered it all in and then that gives me a little bit of shape as well. But this is definitely a fun kind of off duty dress and I'm looking forward to wearing this more in 2024 as well. This is part of my New Year Repose playlist. And I've been thinking about what to do next. And I thought while we are in repose, I will take a little bit of a deep dive into two types of dresses. So next week, we're going to be looking at shirt dresses that are classic, elegant, and fun. And then the following week, we're going to be looking at stylish knit dresses. Yes, there is such a thing. So I do hope that you will join me.